this video will give an overview of how to use FileZilla to connect to a HPC cluster and how to transfer, use that to transfer your data. So we're going here and we're going to open FileZilla. Okay, so we have this window here and on the left hand side I can see this is um, where I currently am, so that's the desktop. And now if I want to connect to um, a HPC cluster, I have to give it the host name. And if I just gonna quickly hover over here again, it actually gives you some instructions of what to prefix the host with to get a particular protocol. The majority of HPC clusters will expect SFTP but there's an easier way of doing this. So for now, I'm just going to give it the host name and that is flashlight.rcc.uq.edu.au Then the username, uq Password That's my password if I now hover over here, it basically says the port. And so the default port is 21, which um, relates to FTP. However, we need to use SFTP. So if I leave the port empty and then click connect, it's not going to work. So you have to enter port 22 to enable SFTP. And if we now click Quick Connect, it's telling me it's connecting to a flashlight using this username. And now hopefully the connection will establish very soon. We also see now that the port has disappeared. And now flashlight has been prefixed with SFTP to signify the secure connection. I've now connected and so this is my home directory so I'm in home and then my username and I should see all my files and directories in here um, and so how do you transfer files I'm just going to scroll down and find one I can transfer I want to transfer test.script to my documents folder on my desktop and you basically do that. You click on it, you drag it across to where you want it, let get hold and then this should transfer the file to my desktop and here it is basically. Now I've copied test script file over to my desktop. The majority of HPC clusters will give users a home directory. However, they often give you a directory from where you do your calculations. So most of your file transfer will happen there. And the easiest way to change the directories instead of clicking your way through here is to actually type it directly in here. So I'm going to change into my scratch directory and so I can type it in directly scratch and on flashlight it's an user and then my username and if I then press enter I'm now in my scratch directory which has different files in it. The nice thing is once you've done that in one of your FileZilla sessions You've got your scratch directory here, so scratch user and then your username. You can change back to your home directory by just clicking on here. And I'm back to the scratch directory by clicking on here. So this is rather nice and gives you an easy way of switching between your different directories on a cluster, for example. And here you just change in the same way on your local machine. So this is how you use FileZilla to log into a HPC cluster facility 
and use that to transfer files between the cluster and your local desktop.